Hang on, what's this? Industrial sale? New ship kits for Elite Dangerous? Let's take a look. Well, investigation has shown that these are available for the Cobra Mark III, Crate Mark II, Asp Explorer, Python, Anaconda, and Type 6 and Type 9, and feature additional spotlights, something I've been banging on about by doing exploration for ages. Ooh, I can't wait. Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Ooh, big day and a surprise on a Friday as well with the hazard packs available for the Anaconda, Crate, Cobra, Python, Type 9, Asp Explorer and Type 6. Ooh, I tell you, not so bad. Take my many because they've got, they've got additional spotlights. Now, each one of these kits are coming in at 13,520 ARCs each. And as of the date, 24th of the 7th, 2022, here is the current price list for ARCs on the Frontier Store. Now, you can earn ARCs by doing things inside the game, or you can get your real world Wonga out and make a little bit of a purchase. Now, as we can see, each one of these lovely industrial ship kits is knocking around the door about $7.99. Eight British pounds, that sort of thing. So, expensive, I suppose, really. You can earn the stuff in game, but it's quicker if you really want to get them and go exploring with headlamps to get to the Ark store and make a purchase. Now, I must, I was absolutely ecstatic about this. I've long said about having additional spotlights, bolt on spotlights on the ship. Did somebody hear me? Did someone actually watch my stream? Did they watch one of my videos? Who knew? All I'm concerned about is now we've got them. And it does look quite good and functional, even with or without the paint jobs that you can put on them. There are a lot of people who say, well, you know, are you paying for extra in game functionality? Personally, I'm happy to have that little bit of extra functionality. Is a little bit of extra light really pay to win? Is this a change of policy? Personally, I don't think so. But by all means, let me know in the comments if you think this is a drastic change in policy and you're not going to partake in it. Like I said, you know, in-game functionality on the increase could be the way forward. So I thought I'd go and make some purchases in the old ARC store myself and see what all this is all about and what sort of effect it has on perhaps say some of the darker areas of the game that I've been able to visit lately and wish there'd been a little bit more light. So here we are in a friendly neighborhood ship taking a good look at the ship kits. So into livery, let's check out the spoiler. What have we got? And straight away you can see, right? Um, the hazard spoiler kit, lots of drums, You've got your light cluster as well. Of course, we've got other stuff like the Raider spoiler kits and other spoilers as well that you could potentially buy. So we're not new to ship kits at all whatsoever. This is the first time some of these ship kits have actually been functional. So we're going to apply that to this particular crate that I've got knocking around. Um, and then we're going to go back. And then onto the wings as well. We have the option here as well to put the, the hazard wings on. And straight away you can see, you know, the nice sort of like spindly protrusions at the side of the wings have got some sort of like you know industrial guard around them which is what you'd expect because it's an industrial ship kit let's plonk that on next up what we got the tail yes the rear not too much to put on there some some little flaps you know um it's not too bad let's plonk them on uh and then moving on to the bumper the front of the nose of the ship course the raider pack um is there as well and then here we go this is the one we want the hazard bumper bumper one that's quite good for additional protrusions you know all that sort of stuff but like yeah look at that that's what you want good bit of scaffolding around as well so boom there you go we've equipped it now you can't really tell what's going on here um because we're in a hangar bay but in just a moment we're going to get out and have a look now with this comes also additional hazard paint jobs so here we've got the nice yellow got the hazard support and of course all the ship kits change color in accordance to the ship kit you've put on 
Uh, here's me Christmas effect. You can see it's turned a nice blue. So that's a good function. Whereas like, you know, I was a little bit disappointed, I think uh, with some of the other ship kits that were, you know, for example, rusty and looking rusty on a nice clean, say, Imperial cutter. So that, that's a good function. Uh, so some good um, paint jobs here as well. Uh, we're gonna go with, I think, yellow, because it's nice to see what goes on there, and we'll put that on right away. So with all that done, let's get to the surface and have a good look around this particular ship. Here we have our crate on a landing pad, and you can have a good look around the embellishments that you've just put on the ship. Lots of industrial scaffolding pipes and things as well, protecting certain parts of the ship. You've got those flaps on the back which don't do anything at all whatsoever and then just look like they're flaps. You've got barrels here, there and everywhere, lots of pods. What I do particularly like is this cover around the side sort of nacelles or sensor array, whatever that is on the side of the crate. And of course we've got these sort of like um, cluster canisters. All the scaffolding on the front of this though, I have to say, I mean, if you're a commander who likes a bit of combat, this is more than likely gonna obscure your view. So you might want to leave the bumper bit out. This part here I thought also was another light cluster, but apparently it isn't. Uh, I'm not sure this is an emission on the dev side of things, but you can see you've got two spotlights right there that are on to give you impression of a little bit of additional light. Two clusters on the chin and one just to the side of the mandible guns that come down. So in short, great. It does look fantastic, this particular crate. But does it give you any additional light? This is the question. I mean, the video that we've seen does give the impression that it does give you some light, but how useful are they really? So here we are at the side of the mega ship, all in darkness. No ship kit, top left hand side, the ship kit, bottom right hand side. Uh, as you can see, as we're moving around with the light, I'm trying to get to an area where there's not an awful lot of light pollution from the engines and what have you. Um, with the ship kit, I think it is illuminating it a bit more, I would say. Um, it is very difficult to ascertain. Um, if you see the no ship kit at the top, then at this point here, you can say yes, there is that additional bonus of having the additional lights on with the ship kit and those additional spotlights, as you would assume. So there you have it. Ship kits, industrial ones, additional lights. What do you think? Are they a worthwhile addition in game or are they an expensive embellishment? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think it's a worthwhile addition. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.